Welcome back to GCN and Eurosport for highlights of the 15th stage of the Giro d'Italia. A day that would see eight border crossings between Italy and Slovenia over 147 kilometres. Starting in Grado, the riders would head towards a circuit mid-race, and on that, they would tackle three ascents of a short but steep fourth category climb at Gornje Sarevo. After that, it was an undulating final 17 kilometres to the finish line in Gorica, which is just inside the Italian border. Attacks came immediately after the flag dropped, but soon after that, the race was neutralised, that after a particularly large and nasty crash. Jos van Emden of Jumbo Visma and Natnael Bahani of Kofidis were forced to withdraw with the injuries that they sustained, whilst Bora Hansger lost their man who was sat sixth on GC, Emmanuel Buchmann. With so many riders needing medical attention from the various doctors on the Giro, the organisers took the decision to halt the race in case of further crashes. After about half an hour though, racing resumed and again the attacks came immediately. A strong group of 15 forcing themselves off the front, Bauke Mollema in it yet again, as well as half the remaining Quebeca Assos riders. Giacomo Nitzola did not start this morning, but Campanarts, Valscheidt and Wisniewski had their sights set on a third stage win for the team. And it was the Belgian who launched the first attack from the break, taking Oscar Rizovic of Alpes in Phoenix and Alba Torres of Movistar with him. The Slovenian fans were out in force despite the heavens opening, watching on as Campanart's pace saw Torres distance over the top of the final climb. Behind them, Hermans, Cataldo and Nikias aren't trying to chase them down. The run in towards the finish though was fascinating. Campanart and Rizovic trading blows constantly and attacking each other in an attempt to go solo. They couldn't afford to muck about though, Mollema keen to chase them down and finally take his Giro stage win. With just over one kilometre to go, the front two were back together and it would end up coming down to a sprint between them. Rizabek decided to go first and he went very early. With 150 metres still to go though, Victor Campenarts was onto his wheel and soon after that, he would manage to come around it. It would be a third stage win in just five days for the Quebeca Assos squad and a first ever Grand Tour stage win for Victor Campenarts. Third on the day would go to Nikias Arndt of Team DSM, who led in the chasing group of five just a few seconds further back. A more popular winner you would be hard pushed to find though. He's been fighting for this moment for years and finally today, Victor Campenart's dream came true and Team Quebeca Assos must be on cloud nine. The other riders in the five-man chasing group were Consoni, Hermans, Cataldo and Mollema. Torres finished up in eighth, Milano and Valscheid rounding out the top ten. Puccio and Ganna, who'd ridden on the front of the peloton for most of the day, led the bunch across the line with the GC riders all safely ensconced within it. And so, there was no change in the top five on the general classification, but with Bookman out of the race, everybody that was behind him has moved up one position. Tomorrow, it's the Queen stage, and it's a monster. A 212 kilometer marathon with five and a half thousand meters of climbing. And they'll be climbing almost from the start. The first category, La Crosetta, will provide the climbers with an opportunity to make the early move. After that comes a descent, and it's a long, gradual rise to the foot of the Paso Fadaya, then straight onto the Chima Copi, the highest point of this year's race, the Paso Pordoi, 2,239 meters above sea level. The hardest climb comes near the end though, it's the Paso Jiao, 10 k's long at 9.3% average, after which it's a fast but technical run into the finish line in Cortina d'Ampezzo. And if the forecast is correct, that will make it even harder. Rain, sleet, snow and even high winds are predicted. You do not want to miss it and you can watch every single kilometre on GCN Plus from 9.30 BST. Territory restrictions apply, see you tomorrow.